What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all for tapping in and checking out this video. So today for y'all, I'm going to be talking about three different topics. Today is uh, February 16th and I'm not going to lie to you, just today was a busy day sneakers wise. So I have three different topics I'm going to talk about like I said. First is going to be over the Marina Blue Ones and just kind of a quick recap of the of that drop which was today. Second is going to be the shock drop that happened today. And then third is going to be an update on the Air Jordan 3 Cardinals which are said to come out this weekend. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So to start, of course, like I said, today was the release date for the Marina Blue Ones. I was actually able to cop two pairs today. I didn't go for anything on sneakers this morning. I I was like sitting in the queue to enter and I just sat there and sat there and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to go for them. So I ended up not entering on sneakers for them, but I was able to cop a personal pair today, which is what this shoe is right here. This is my personal size, so I will be keeping it and adding it to the collection. But just a quick recap over the drop. It seemed like everything went smoothly this morning. Like I said, I didn't put a bunch of effort into trying to get pairs, so I really don't know. But I know resale price wise, these aren't going for a bunch of money. So if you're wanting pairs and you were not able to hit on sneakers, I feel like now is the time to go ahead and try to grab these. The prices may drop a little bit when pairs from sneakers come in, but already they're not going for that much over retail. I know I've been seeing people selling pairs for like 240 and 250 which honestly is not terrible. If I was trying to copy, pay, I'd probably go ahead and do that. If not, I'd even try to negotiate down to like 210, 220. Um, just because they're not really doing that great. Now, honestly, do I think they'll go up? Yes, I think later, either at the end of the year or as we get into next year, they'll start to go up. But as of right now, I'm not really planning on holding any pairs. If I have, I think, one extra pair that I'm going to get rid of pretty quickly and move on to the next release just because, you know, like I said, it's hard holding on to pairs when they're just not, you don't know what the outcome of them will be. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to go up and how much they're going to go up. I feel like they're going to go up, but it's no telling just what that's going to be but i do really like the color of these i do like the blue and the black um it's it's a very simple shoe easy to wear so that's why i think they will end up going up but it's just a matter of time of when that'll happen and is it really hurt is it really worth holding on to pairs of these and in my opinion me personally no i will not be holding on to pairs like i said earlier so that was the marina blue ones let me know how y'all did on these today were you able to cop a personal pair were you able to get any pairs today? How did y'all do? And where did you copy your pairs from? Like I said, I was able to get mine from um, Foot Locker and Finish Line, or Foot Locker and JD today. So, you know, it worked out pretty well for me. But like I said, let me know how y'all did and how many pairs or if you were able to get a personal pair or not of the Marina Blue Ones. Now, on to the second topic. So, I, so I want to say in like January, I had, well, I'm going to go even farther back. Last year, I knew at some point in time there was going to be a Jordan Reserve over all these shoes that we had gotten because we had had we had not had one in a while, and we ended up getting one of the, uh, Jordan Reserve I think a couple weeks ago, and it wasn't any like hype stuff. A lot of it was just bricks, and so that's what we got on that Jordan Reserve. But at that same time, when that Reserve came out, I got word that we would eventually be getting a restock on Cool Grays, Patent Breads, and. Uh, Jordan 4 Red Thunders, which I kind of figured we would. Of course, with All-Star Weekend coming up, I figured that would be the time when we would get those restocks. But today, out of nowhere, they shock dropped the patent bread ones today. Now, I figured we would be getting a shock drop around this time just because tomorrow is Michael Jordan's birthday or today when I'm posting this video is his birthday. So I figured we'd be getting a shock drop of something around that time. But I just wasn't not sure of what. And today when I was on Twitter, I ended up seeing people start posting about there's a shock drop coming and so forth and so on. And then as I started digging and, and researched it, I actually found out more information and then found out it was going to be today and that they were actually shock, drop, shock dropping the patent bread once today. Now, let me know how y'all did. I actually was able to cop a pair. I was pleasantly surprised that I was able to. But I had not original. I didn't hit on sneakers originally for the patent bread, so I was able to hit this time on them. Now, if you didn't see or didn't get an alert for the shock drop, it's because you had to be in the sneakers live that they had going on today, which they were going over just different shoes that were getting ready to come out. But you had to be in that sneakers live to be able to see the shock drop. Now I know a lot of people had issues 
accessing the drop like some people were in this niggas live but they weren't able to see or purchase the shoes and it was kind of weird like i know they had men's and grade school for sure i was not able to see grade school pairs i was only able to see men's pairs which is what i was able to cop was a men's pair so it was a lot a lot of technical errors of course when i got in the live there was i think around twenty seven thousand people or something like that but when the time hit for the shock drop, it, it went all the way up to like 87,000 people. So, of course, with that many people in one app, it's bound to have technical issues, which, of course, is what we saw. It's frustrating, I know, but it is what it is. You really can't do much about it because if you got so many people trying to go after so few pairs of shoes because I'm sure there wasn't a ton of pairs today, but I'm sure there was a good amount as well. So, that was the shock drop. Now, continuing on with the shock drops, I would not be surprised if we get another shock drop either today on his birthday or next week as it's all-star week i know the jordan 12 playoffs are coming and i would not be surprised if we get a shock drop on the jordan 12 playoffs just stay alert be ready at any point in time i don't i don't have an exact date on when that could come but i feel like that would be the next shock drop is the jordan 12 playoffs and of course they were pushed back to next month so we could be getting that for all-star weekend it's just going to be a wait and see on what jordan decides to do but like I said, let me know how y'all did today on the shock drop. Did we able to cop a pair of patent breads? How did, were you able to even see the uh, shock drop to be able to purchase the patent breads? Let me know uh, how that worked out for y'all today. And of course, last but not least is an update on the Jordan 3 Cardinals. So if y'all know, Finish Line and JD have been doing their bot free access or their exclusive access when it comes to these recent releases. Well, for the Cardinal 3s, they announced that they will not be doing bot free access for the Cardinal 3s. But they would actually be doing first come first serve which when i heard that i was like why <laughs> like we have not had a first come first serve drop in a minute and why would they start doing that now but kind of later into the day I ended up finding out that a lot of these stores were actually actually doing in-store raffles for the cardinal threes now i went up to my jd today to pick up my pair of marinas and then i actually entered the raffle and the raffle was supposed to be going on from today on the 16th to the set and in tomorrow on the 17th so you may be able to still enter in that raffle at the time of this video dropping, but I would just call your local finish on JD to see if they're doing an in-store raffle for these Cardinal 3s. Like I said, they they had it as first come first serve and then they changed it to raffle, but honestly, 3s are always kind of weird when it comes to people getting pairs and, and wanting pairs. So you may have luck on Saturday actually going up to the store and just being able to buy a pair because they may have pairs sitting. Of course, not a lot of people know that they're doing in-store raffle for these, so not a lot of people are going to go into the raffle, of course, and at least in some areas. So you just have to be proactive. Call your store if you're interested in the Cardinal 3s and just ask them if they're doing an in-store raffle. And if they are, go enter. It's Like I said, it's no telling how many people are going to go up to the store and enter. It's no telling how many people even know that they're going to be doing an in-store raffle for the Cardinal 3s. So that is everything I have for y'all. Hopefully, that was, it was a lot, but hopefully... You know, y'all got some information with the Cardinal 3s and with the potential shock drops coming up. It'll be interesting to see if we do get another one. Like I said, I would not be surprised if we get Jordan to a playoff shock drop and maybe at some point a Fire Red 3 shock drops and still just to come out this year as well. But it'll just be a wait and see with those two releases. But like I said, let me know how y'all did with the Marinas today. Let me know if you're able to cop a pair of patent breads off the shock drop today. And then let me know if you all have any questions about the finish line in JD first come first serve or in-store raffle on the Cardinal 3s. Just put them in the comments and I'll respond back. Y'all know I respond to all the comments. But as always, appreciate y'all for stopping in. I should have my pair of playoff 12s in tomorrow. So that video should post on Friday the 18th. So just be prepared for that. I want to be on the lookout. But as always, like I said, appreciate y'all for stopping in. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, turn on the notification bell so you can stay today when I post new content. On the road to 1,000 subscribers, so if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Almost there, it's, it's almost there. But like as always, stay safe and stay blessed. Hope y'all have a good one, hope y'all have a good rest of the week. I will catch y'all in the next video.